So as leaders, we all wanna be more effective and we're here with Amy K. Hutchins talking about how to multiply your leadership and what that actually means. Hey, what's up, Sean here, and I'm sitting here with Amy K. Hutchins, who's an author, business strategist, speaker, and she also works with a lot of big companies and CEOs, but you've been helping leaders, and you just spoke at an event that I was at, and we've known each other for a couple years now, and I've been learning from you, and I wanted to have you on so that we could get some of your leadership principles, and specifically, you wrote a new book, The Secrets Leader's Key. Yes. And there's a chapter in there, and the whole book really actually connects to real stories yes. that illustrate practical principles, and there's this, a chapter on really multiplying your leadership. What does that mean? <laughs> a multiplier means that you expand your influence on multiple people in multiple ways. But the only way to do that is when you are crystal clear on how you define success and how you define happiness. And so in the very last chapter of the book, we have a high school football coach. He is state champion. And he discusses the idea of being aligned around your pleasure and your purpose. Wow. And when you can manifest your values in the real world, you're going to have an unbelievable ability to multiply. So one of the things that we talk about in the book is do the means um, justify the end? And he says only if you play in such a way that your values get to shine. Because mm -hmm. if you compromise your values along the way, it doesn't matter if you're the state champion. Yep. You're not a champion in real life. Yep. So just quickly on that, you mentioned you want to have clarity. Yes. Uh, on your values. Yes. And that's going to, when you get clear, and when you, it's maybe alignment, would that be one of the words? Absolutely. When you get aligned with your values, with your passion, with your purpose, then your leadership's gonna be multiplied and be more effective. Absolutely. But how? How, or what are just some maybe first tips, and obviously there's a lot to, to, to hone in and get that focus and get that clarity, but what are maybe some jumpstart tips? Because I know that even as a uh, leader personally, I've struggled with that. Sometimes you do feel uh, divided, or you don't feel like you have crystal clear clarity. How do you begin to bring clarity uh, for leaders. It starts with prioritization. So this whole myth around balance, toss it. It doesn't exist. In fact, you'll get more stress trying to balance all your values. Yeah. But once you get your core values, once you have your core belief systems, prioritize them. So that every time you go out and you make a decision, you know consciously yeah. that I am making this decision and it's hitting my top values, my prioritized values. And then you end up with this weighted scale so that when somebody says, well, what was the thinking behind this decision? You're not like, uh, um, I don't know, you're the, hey, here are all the thoughts that went into this. Here are all the consequences that I looked at, all the unintended consequences. This is what I decided for my people. This is what I knew was gonna be worthy of my followers. I love it. And uh, for those of you watching, definitely check out Amy Kay's uh, new book, The Secrets Leaders Keep, and check out um, her resources as well that are on her website, amykay.com. We did a full length interview and that is uh, available in the YouTube description and uh, also on the blog post on thinkintl.tv. But I really wanna encourage you, uh, as we were talking about this just now, we were just in a live event together, you actually take people through kind of a workshop. You I take, do. You have that handout and we begin to reverse engineer and really go deep. And obviously you've been having great results and been doing this for years, but I love that. What's maybe the best way for people to just more get more engaged with you? Join the club. We actually have a 12 week community where we're gonna do videos every single week and exercise you can call in and then we have our think tanks and they're also open to the public every quarter where we invite people in to actually engage with the learning so that it's sustainable for the long term. Awesome. Amy Kay, thanks so much for thanks being on. Thanks for having on. me. Absolutely.